John Wasserman. I'm pastoring a church here in Kempton called Airport Christian Fellowship, right near O.R. Tambo International Airport. And we've introduced a series on the kingdom of God that I'm so excited about, alternatively called the kingdom of heaven, interchangeable terms. And um, it's really interesting, the things that have been inferred or taught, or maybe, you know, ideas conceived over, over decades of preaching of what the kingdom of God, what the kingdom of heaven is. It's not a place in heaven. Everything about heaven was to come to earth. So Jesus came to earth. And when he left, he sent back his other self, the Holy Spirit, to be with us here on earth. It's really interesting that Jesus said, he will be with you forever. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. He doesn't come into the lives of unbelievers. He only comes into the lives of believers. That's the person of the Holy Spirit. He is the spirit of the kingdom and uh, Jesus' other self, to comfort and to help. And he's the one alongside us, empowers us, he anoints us, he leads us in truth. There's so much that we can say about the person of the Holy Spirit. But the thing that, that we, we have misconceptions about is, what is the kingdom? So let me tell you what the kingdom of God is not. The kingdom of God is not Jerusalem and it's not Israel. It used to be. They used to be called the stars of heaven in Deuteronomy. But Paul says in Romans chapter 11, they are the dust of the earth. In other words, they are natural people now. And um, so they need to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. The common denominator for Jew and Gentile is Jesus. And so they need to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. So God put everything back to level. And with the, the ending of the preaching of, of John the Baptist and the beginning of the preaching of Jesus, the common denominator now for the kingdom is not if you're born a Jew or alternatively for us as Gentiles, if you accept Jesus Christ. It's all if you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So it's not Jerusalem. And it's not Israel. And secondly, it's not, there are Christian countries. I've been to many and at one time South Africa was known as a Christian country. So it's not a, a country that has a Christian government. It's not that either. And the third thing that it is not, is not the church. The church is an expression of the kingdom. So you can be in the church and not in the kingdom. The church is the ecclesia of God. The kingdom is the basilea of God. So you can be in the church and you can attend church, but not be a part of the kingdom. So I don't want to confuse you with all of these things. So can I encourage you to watch this particular teaching? What it is not, but I actually teach what it is. So what is the kingdom? It's the kingdom of God. The kingdom of heaven is all those who submitted their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ, who've accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, and they've submitted to His authority by obeying His Word. That constitutes the kingdom of God. So I hope you watch this video, enjoy it. Let us know what you think. Thank you for watching this video, and I don't want you to miss anything. So please like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter and SoundCloud, connect with us on LinkedIn, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you on the next clip.